Hello there. So, why is your program returning type error exception? If you are watching this video, chances are that you are writing a program, a Python program, and um, when you get to execute it, you are receiving a weird error that said type error byte like object is required. So, what does this mean? In this video, I will explain you what this error means and we will see programs that encounter this problem and how you can fix it. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's start by explaining what the type error is. This is a runtime error, meaning that it's an error that Python encounters while it's executing your program. The type error is indicating that your code is trying to execute an operation that is not supported by the type. For example, if you try to add a number or an integer with a string, you will get a type error because Python expects that you add a number with another number, not with a string. So, Python doesn't really know what to do or how to perform that operation. In this case, we are going to talk about the error byte like object is required. This message is indicating that Python was expecting a byte as the type in an operation, however it is receiving a different type, so Python doesn't know how to perform the operation. So perfect, now we understand what the type error means in Python. So let's see a few examples of how you can fix this problem. You can find this error when you are reading from a text file. In this case, I have created a file that I call file underscore example.txt that contains a list of products, each line containing the product name the stock available and the product price and I wrote a simple program that will check if there is a bike available so the program will first read the file and put every line in an array and it will loop through every line and split by semicolon to separate the name of the product from the stock available and from the price then we will check if the name of the product is equal to a bike. And if it is, all we need to do is check if the stock available is higher than zero. And this will mean that the bikes are available. So it seems everything is correct, so let's execute this. And aha, there we have our error. Type error bike like object is required. So if we take a closer look at the error, Python is indicating that the error was encountered at line 7. So when Python tried to execute the split operation, it was expecting a byte type. So why is this happening and how can we fix it? The problem is that when we are opening the file, we have indicate RB. This means read in binary mode. Binary mode means the data is returned as bytes. Therefore, at line 7, we are trying to split a byte type using a string. And that's why we receive the type error. So, if we want to fix this problem, the types should match. In other words, if we are splitting a byte type, we should use another byte. So in this case, what we can do is converting the semicolon string into a byte just by prefixing it with a P. This will convert the string to its byte form. Alright, so let's run it and perfect, it works! Another way to fix this error is opening the file in text mode. This way, when the code reads line 7, the line variable will contain a string instead of a byte. To do so, all we need to do is removing the B parameter when opening the file. 
And if we run this, perfect, that also works. Let's see another example. We could also encounter the type error by type is required when using the replace function. The replace works the same way than the split function. The types that you are using should match on both sides. We have a code example here. Um, what we have here is a variable and then I will replace red by blue. And if I run this, I get the type error. The reason is that the test in binary variable is a byte. So I'm trying to replace a string in a byte. So the types are not matching. To fix this as before, there are two solutions. We can convert the parameters to byte just by prefixing them with the letter B. Then the types will match. So let's run this. Um, yeah, it works perfectly. Or another solution will be converting the byte variable to a stream using the decode function. Obviously, I could also convert the variable to a string just by removing the B prefix. And using the decode function in this case to illustrate this function, which also enables you to convert a byte type to a string. So let's run this. And amazing, now it works smoothly as well. And let's see the last example. You may encounter the type error by like obvious require when you are trying to send a stream via a socket. The reason is that the socket send function only accepts by type as a parameter. So I have here a piece of code where I have created a socket and then I will send a request using the send function. So if I run this code, I get an error in line number four. So if I take a closer look, I can see that instead of using a byte type, I'm using a string type. This won't work because the send function is only accepting byte type. As before, this is really simple to fix. All you have to do is prefixing the string with the B letter. This way, Python will convert the string to a byte type. So let's run this again. Um, now we get a response from the server. So we reach the end of the video where we have seen why a program will return a type error by type object is required and a few ways to fix this problem. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.